Hi. So, you know when you're working with a printed circuit board and you want to just rotate a part or move a component, but you don't want to have to use the regular hotkeys that allow you to do that. Say, for instance, you want to move a component. You have to hit Shift plus F6 to do that. And now I'm in move mode. Then I can select something or move it and pick it up. So you can pick a new location for the elements as shown in the command window here. And then you zoom in and then you see I moved it. So I don't like hitting the, or having to hit the shift F6 and all that stuff. So some of the things I want to change and I'll show you how to do that. What you can do is go to your tools more and look at alias slash function keys. And this shows you a list of all the aliases or function keys or hotkeys really that allow you to perform various commands. See here, I have my function key for eye angle to rotate by 90 degrees set to R. So let me show you how that looks. Go to place components manually, packet symbols, pick a capacitor or something like that, or whatever this is, and then you can hide it incremental and I can hit R on my keyboard see command R and it's rotates by 90 degrees so let me show you how to do that um, what you can do is just type say for instance funk key M move and now see usually when it works out there's no feedback so if you type in funky space M space move then there's no error that happens. And then the way you can double check to make sure that it works is just hit M and see if the options menu shows up. So hit M on your keyboard and there you go. Another example would be like I did with the R I angle. Um, and let me show you there again, tools, more alias funkies and you scroll down. Whatever you type in for the funky, it gets saved into this environment. Uh, in this file here, but but if you close the software and then reopen the PCB, then you have if you hit M, it doesn't do anything. So I'm hitting M on my keyboard and no options are showing up. And if I hit R on my keyboard, nothing. So if we go to tools, choose more alias slash function keys, they're not there. There are some that are stored permanently. But whatever you set here is not stored permanently. So if you close your window, it'll disappear. And how do you fix that problem? There's a folder you can go to, and that is in local disk, cadence, SPV underscore 17.2 share, then PCB text. And then there's this file called the ENV file. ENV has no file extension and you want to keep it that way. And in fact, before you even edit this file, I'm going to right click copy, right click paste. And then you'll have a copy here and we'll name this backup. It says bake up, but that's fine. Right click and we're going to open with, let's see if notepad is open. There we go. There's an explanation about what this file is about, but what you can do is instead of um, storing your your files or commands temporarily, you can store them permanently. So you go down here and put in func key m move, for instance, and then func key r for I angle 90 and then you go hit file save you close this and you want to make sure that there still is no extension for this file now let's just double check to see if it automatically gets updated in the software if it's constantly checking okay so it's not checking constantly if you hit m nothing happens so you need to close the software again then reopen the software Okay, so when I hit M on my keyboard, 
See, now I'm in move mode. It says select elements to move and I get the options available to me. So let's go ahead and place a component manually. Go to placement list. You know, you can choose a packet symbol, select your capacitor, zoom in, and then let's hide this. Then if you are on your keyboard, you can rotate by 90 degrees. If the rotation by 90 degrees doesn't work still, then that might mean you need to set your rotation type to incremental and set your angle to 90 degrees. But yeah, that's good. And then you right click and choose done. So that is how you set up function keys in ORCAD PCB editor or Allegro PCB editor. And I am in PCB designer Lite, So this works in the light version and of course the full version.